today we hosted our ACP enrollment event that is affordable connectivity program. We have on-site assistance as well as paper applications for people to get enrolled in the program. These type of events are very important because they help us have greater impact um, towards our mission, which is to bridge the digital divide by connecting people to resources. And it also lets the community know that this is a safe space for them to get assistance um, for anything that they need. So we love having events like this because it gets the word out and get, gets people involved in our programming. I first learned about the connectivity program when I had been sent information that I may qualify and I did. I came and it was great. They helped me a lot. Very easy process, very professional. I'm glad that I came. Broadband is something that, you know, it's very much needed because when we think about our school system, when we think about integrating new things into our community, a lot of our constituents in the district are seasoned and that most of the challenges are affordability. And so I think that the financial aspect of it is one of the biggest issues and concerns that I have going into representing the district going forward. The amount of information that is not known for the people who need to know it uh, is critical. So um, especially having a, an issue like connectivity and internet, so much you know in the world right now is dealing with technology and uh, connectivity and uh, those things are very needed in households uh, just to even get regular work done so it's, uh, it's really important. The way that the system's kind of structured it relies on the internet and so if we don't have access to that information we're kind of left behind. My job is um, software development work so I need the internet in order to do my job. I can't make any money if I don't have the internet. Uh, in Mississippi, it's approximately 131,000 to 111,000 people who are unserved in the state right now. Internet is important to everyone, and right now in North Mississippi or in North Hans County, uh, they have zero. So anything that we can do to try to enhance them getting internet, that's what I wanted to find out and make sure I knew what to do. We're trying to work with Beam and uh, trying to get as much information, and hopefully someone will. Uh, make an application for Hans County and uh, we'll get the ball rolling. We have providers who, who report out of their service and their uh, quality of service. And sometimes it's not always true. So you need the community to actually come back and say, well, you know what, they're reporting this, but I'm actually getting X, okay? Or I pay too much for what I for kind of service I get. You can go to broadbandms.com and take the speed tester. This is one event. It's ongoing until you know, that statistic that Ty gave, we've got those households enrolled. So BeanPath will always have applications. We'll always try to connect people to the programming. So if you were not able to enroll today or you know someone who couldn't come out today, they can still get enrolled and we can still assist them, assist them with enrolling. So if they didn't make it today, that's fine. We can still get an application out to them or we could offer some assistance with enrolling. I feel great about today. I'm so glad that people came out. We have people of all ages. We had a lot of seniors today, so that's very good. I'm happy that we're able to be here to assist them with what they need so that they can get connected to the Affordable Connectivity Program.